Hi everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we're making Peking style duck breasts. So to start this dish, we are going to need a sugar salt cup. So to a small bowl, I'm adding two tablespoons of caster sugar, two tablespoons of kosher salt, a teaspoon of dried mandarin peel, this is optional, and two tablespoons of Chinese five spice powder. This is gonna add all those aromatics to our duck. We're going to give this a really good mix and set this aside while we pat dry four duck breasts just with the kitchen paper towel. We want to get this as dry as possible. Then we're going to sprinkle this salt sugar rub all over the skin of our duck and all over the bottom as well. We really want to coat this because we want that flavor to infuse throughout this duck meat. So I'm placing this on a cooling rack on a baking tray and we're going to put this in the fridge overnight for 24 hours to dry out. Now it's the next day and we can work on our mandarin pancakes. So to a bowl, we're going to add in one and a half cups of all-purpose flour, a half teaspoon of kosher salt, a tablespoon of vegetable oil, and we're going to slowly drizzle in two thirds of a cup of boiling water, just mixing around with our chopsticks to start forming a dough. Once all the water is in and this has cooled down enough for you to get your hand in there, start kneading this in with your hands until you get a nice, smooth, elastic dough. After we form our dough, we're going to cover this with plastic wrap and let this sit for an hour. We also need to make a sauce. So I know hoisin is um, the most common, but I wanted to jazz it up a little bit. So I'm just doing equal parts of hoisin dark soy, some sambal, and water. So I did about a tablespoon of each, giving that a good mix. But you want to give this a taste and adjust it to your, um, to what you like to, to eat and the flavors that you love. So I'm going to add in one more tablespoon of this hoisin. So we're getting sweet, salty, heat, and sour in this. We can set that aside. And we need to pull out our duck breasts so they can come to room temperature. We don't want to cook these while they're still cold. So set those aside. Now we need to make a glaze. So to a, a pot, we're going to add in two tablespoons of Shaoxing wine, two tablespoons of red vinegar, and the color of this is absolutely lovely. This is what's going to give that Peking duck skin color to our dish. If you can't find red wine, red rice wine, you can substitute that with either red wine vinegar or just black vinegar. The last ingredient we need is maltose, which you can find in most Asian grocery stores. And it's a little hard to work with when it, once it's cold. And my kitchen is very cold right now because it's Brooklyn and it's winter time. So the easiest way to work with this, once I get this off my hand, this looks like pulled taffy is we are going to work a little smarter, not harder. And we're going to place this into a bowl of warm water. If you have a microwave, you can microwave it up for 30 seconds. I don't have a microwave in my house. So maltose is a rice syrup almost, but it's not as sweet as honey or sugar. So we need four tablespoons of this. It does help to wet your um, measuring spoon and your spatula it helps get this off a little easier. We're going to bring this over to the stove, bring this up to a boil, let it boil for five minutes, turn off the heat and set that aside. That's going to thicken. Now it's been about an hour. We can go back to our pancakes. We're going to tip this out onto a lightly floured bench, knead this for about five minutes until it's nice and smooth. And then we are going to roll this into a log. Then we're going to portion this into 12 even-ish pieces. And once we have achieved 12 pieces, we're going to lightly flour our bench again and take two pieces that are roughly the same size, flatten them out, scooch everything over. And I like to form these on parchment. It just makes it easier to lift. So we're going to take one of the discs, brush it lightly on one side with sesame oil, place a second disc on top, and we're going to roll this out as thinly as possible to about seven inches. Mine were a little thick, so I'd roll them thinner than I'm doing here. And you see we have two layers here. This is going to make sense in a minute. 
So just keep rolling until all those are done. You should have six when you're finished. And then we're going to pop these onto a dry cast iron pan over medium heat. These don't take long to cook, about a minute. Flip them over. A couple of brown spots are fine, but you don't want heavy brown spots. We're going to let that cook for another 30 seconds. Take these off the heat, and while this is still hot, start pulling them apart so you have 12 pancakes. Just cover those with a tea towel until we're ready to use them. Now back to our duck, we're going to pat off any excess moisture that may have occurred when we brought this from temperature, but this is pretty dry. So I have two pans here, no heat yet, because we want to start these in a cold pan. I'm going to put two breasts in one pan, two breasts in the other, turn the heat up to medium. The reason we start with the cold pan is we don't want to immediately sear the fat on the outside. We want the fat underneath to render. So if we slowly raise the heat, it allows the fat to start melting underneath before crisping up the skin. So depending on what pans you're using and the heat of your um, stove, you want to cook this until the breast, the skin is nice and crispy. Then we're going to pull this off and brush it with our glaze that we made earlier. Now, I did not do this under a broiler. I put my um, oven to 400. This is definitely better under a broiler. We're going to pop this into the oven and we're going to cook it for 15 minutes, pulling it out every five minutes and reapplying more glaze. We're going to pull that out of the oven and let that rest for about 10 minutes before slicing it into thin slices. And you can see this duck is still pretty juicy. So to plate, I've just plated everything separately. And to serve, you just want to slather a little of your sauce onto a mandarin pancake. Add a little shredded scallion. You could also put cucumber on this or cantaloupe. Totally up to you. A piece of the duck. And that's looking delicious. We're gonna roll this up and now we can give this a taste. While it's not exactly baking duck, you get all those flavors. Again, I would have used a broiler. I should have used a broiler and next time will to get that skin super crispy. But everything about this screams Christmas, goodness, and deliciousness. But there it is, baking style duck breasts. I really do hope you all try to make this. Just popping in here really quickly my face on the channel for the first time um, to say thank you for all of your support, for subscribing, for watching the videos, for making comments, for just letting me know that um, you're there because I really do appreciate it. I hope you all have a very happy, very safe New Year's Eve. And here's hoping 2023 is even bigger, brighter and better for all of us. Thank you all so much. I really do appreciate you. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today. I really do appreciate every single one of you. Um, it's Christmas when I'm filming this, so I'm going to go enjoy it with my partner. But if you like this video, give it a like. If you loved it, please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell because I put out new videos every Thursday. Happy New Year, everybody. And until next time, happy cooking.